Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great week, enjoying the great weather and making lots of great sales, especially if you're in the UK and you stocked up well on paddling pools. Now this summer has been amazing so far, so if you prepared in advance like we quite often talk about, then hopefully you've benefited from this and you've seen a real increase in those sales as a result. Now if you're new to the channel, my name's Emma and this is Destination FBA and I've been uploading videos since the end of last year. So if you're new to someone on Amazon, you'll hopefully find lots of helpful information and advice and may find that a lot of your questions are answered through these videos. Now if not, we do have a great Facebook group where you can jump in, ask any questions. I'll pop a link to this below. There's lots of experienced sellers there that are more than willing to help you out. So today I want to talk to you about compliancy requests and documentation as I've seen quite a few posts on Facebook and I've been hit by quite a few of these myself over the past few days. So what are these? What information is Amazon expecting from us? And what will happen if we don't provide this information within that timescale given? So Amazon are all about safety and all about their own reputation as well. So they want to make sure that items being sold on their platform is safe and compliant to any standards or regulations. This means they will sometimes ask for compliance documents for items that you're selling. And their terms and conditions state, as a seller, you are responsible for ensuring that the products you supply are compliant with relevant regulations. However, in certain cases, Amazon may request proof of compliance with regulations and governmental certifications. Now these requests can come completely out of the blue, even after months and months of selling an item on Amazon. They could also come about as a result of listing a new item, a customer complaint, an audit within Amazon, or changes within regulatory requirements. Whatever the reason is, you need to deal with them and you need to deal with them promptly. So if Amazon are requesting this information from you, they'll both send you an email and they'll also update the account health section of your Seller Central. So you can see this by clicking performance from the home page followed by account health and it'll take you to this next page just here. So if we just scroll down on this page, we're looking for this section at the bottom right that says manage your compliance. And we can see that I've got two product compliance requests. Now I did deal with eight of these yesterday, so we can see that Amazon are really hot on this at the moment. So if we just click where it says view all, we can see details in full for all the affected ASINs. So we have our product name, estimated net sales, the compliance regulations, due date, and the approval status. So we can see the compliance requirements we are being asked for here are the EC declaration of conformity, along with genuine product images or its packaging. So the EC declaration of conformity is also known as the CE certificate. So this is documentation that just proves that that product complies to all CE marking and regulations. This just means that it meets all the EU health and safety requirements and it can legally bear that CE mark. So one thing I do when I'm prepping and packaging any toys is lay them all out, take some clear photos and save them all into an album. So I take a photo of the product with all the packaging and the CE mark as well. If you get hit by a compliance request, at least you have all these images to get you started. Now we can see here that we have a due date of 13th of September 2022. Now if we do not provide these documents to Amazon by that day, then they may just remove that list altogether. So what we're going to do is click where it says not submitted and we get taken to this page here where we can either provide our documents or we can appeal the request. Now it's all very simple and you can easily drag and drop your files onto here and you can add any extra comments you might have before submitting to Amazon for their approval. If everything you've sent through satisfies them, then you'll be able to carry on selling this product with no further issues. So how can we get hold of these documents? Now, if you've made that purchase on the high street or through an online retailer, you may struggle to get the information you need. If, however, you've ordered directly from the manufacturer or from a licensed distributor, you should be able to ask them for the certificate of conformity. Now, failing this, you can try and Google for them. And I've certainly found some in the past for Lego and Playmobil, but don't rely on Google alone. This is just one of the few problems you may encounter not purchasing from a manufacturer. If all options fail and you still can't get those documents, you've got two choices. So you could try and sell out before that deadline. Now this may mean that you have to drop the price and you'll be making less profits, or you could close the listing, create a removal order, and get all of those items back before Amazon close it for you. Now you can do this through Sell Central in the Manage Inventory section, or you can go back to that drop down and select Close Listing. From here we can easily click Edit, and then Delete Product and Listing. So you'll get this pop-up just to confirm, and it's as easy as that. This listing has now been completely removed and it will not cause you any future issues. Now, neither of the compliance requests I've got are items that I intend on restocking, so the best thing for me to do here is to just remove them altogether. Now, I have just done this, so if we go back into my account health, scroll back down to where we were before, we can see now that these have been cleared off and I have zero requests. 
This is another reason you should regularly check that inventory and remove any old listings. It will help against requests like this popping up, any possible IP complaints in the future, and it will also help to improve that IPI score as well. Just delete any listings you don't intend on restocking. Now if you have a product removed due to your inability to provide the documentation asked, do not try and add it again at a later date. This is against Amazon's terms and conditions and it could lead to a suspension on your account. Now whilst you're suspended, no activity will happen on your account so you won't be able to make any sales and you won't be able to withdraw any funds that are owed to you either. Be sure you're complying with Amazon's terms and conditions and just don't risk a suspension. It's really not worth the trouble it will cause you. So from previous experience, and after talking to a lot of other sellers as well, it seems a lot of these product compliancy requests are popping up around this time of year. So just be prepared and don't be at all surprised if you don't get a request through for more information. With Christmas fast approaching, it could just be that Amazon are airing on the side of caution. Just keep an eye on them and deal with any requests as soon as they become apparent. Now, by keeping your account healthy, you're going to have more chance of winning those buy boxes. So this will mean more sales and then hopefully more profit as well. So I hope this just helped to explain what the compliancy requests are and how we deal with them. Make a note of that deadline and either provide that information to Amazon or create a removal order and get those items back. If you have any questions at all, please do pop them below or in our Facebook group and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, thank you very much for watching. Have a great week and I'll hopefully see you soon. Take care.